Welcome back, everybody. Tomorrow marks the 70th anniversary of D-Day. And did you know that the USS Laffey moored right here at Patriots Point in Mount Pleasant is one of only two remaining warships from the Normandy invasion? Amazing to believe it's right here. Chris Howe joins us right now from Patriots Point with more on how they're commemorating this great battle at Patriots Point. Chris, thanks so much for being here. We do appreciate it. Hey, John. Thanks living, for having me. Living history right here in our backyard, and you guys are doing a big, big commemoration. Man, you can't beat it. Definitely living history. You go over the bridge every day. You see those two, sh the three ships. You got the submarine, the aircraft carrier, and the destroyer Laffey. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the Laffey was one of, like you said, one of two remaining U.S. warships that was off the coast of Normandy that day. Wow. That's yeah, really, really incredible. It really is impressive. Uh, they helped uh, destroy some gun turrets. I was reading on the beaches of Normandy as well. So this ship, certainly a lot of history. And one of the coolest parts about that, not only can you tour the Laffey, but you guys actually have a couple of veterans that were there on that day coming to speak at Patriots Point. Absolutely. We have a, a veteran who served on board the Laffey the day of D-Day. Uh, he'll, be, uh, he'll be in town. He's, uh, we have our D-Day Symposium. It starts tomorrow at uh, 7 o'clock on board the Yorktown Smoky Stover Theater. Uh, he'll be talking about what it was like that day. Um, you know, their stories are incredible. We also have another veteran, an Army Ranger, mm -hmm. who uh, was actually on the beaches that day. Oh, wow. So we have two different sides of the story. We have the story from the ship and on land. Uh, we'll, we'll be discussing that. They'll be taking questions and answers. We also have a living history production. Uh, we'll be um, uh, featuring the Bedford Boys story. It's a group of, um, group of guys that joined the National Guard in Virginia. Mm -hmm. uh, they really you know, didn't have any idea what the National Guard would get them into, and all of a sudden they end up at D-Day. Yeah. Um, and uh, quite an intense day for them. 19 ended up dying that day in D-Day. Wow. So we'll be um, have a living, living history production. Uh, myself is actually in in the production with a part um, and we'll, we'll go through and uh, kind of go through how it was for them that day and how the news spread. That sounds wonderful. Of course, D-Day, such a major milestone in this country. Oh, it's, it's incredible. You know, it's not, not only the country, um, it's the world. Think about how the world could have been different if D-Day hadn't have turned out the way it did. If we hadn't launched that invasion that day, uh, who knows how much longer Hitler would have had um, he would have gotten access to maybe an atomic bomb. Sure. Uh, you know, it could even push us to drop an atomic bomb on, yeah. on Europe and think about tens of thousands of people's, people that could have died. Um, just the, the Some brave soldiers, brave sailors, of course, and we have to commemorate that uh, all of those men and their hard work, and that's exactly what you can do at Patriots Point. Again, this is tomorrow from 7 to 8.30 on board the Yorktown. Chris, do you have to get tickets to this? Is it just people come it's on? It's absolutely free. Uh, it won't cost you a thing to get on the ship. It will cost $5 parking, uh, and that's pretty standard for us. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the symposium is free. We also have brought in whole team of digital people and IT people that the theater is going to be rocking. Sure. Uh, sounds and video is going to make you actually think you're there. Oh, wow. Uh, you're really going to get a sense of what it was like that day. And another great part about this whole uh, commemoration is you guys are bringing back the crew of the Laffey just over the years, guys that have served aboard that ship. Yeah, we have a, a crew of the Laffey. Not, not all, they, there was only one that was on board the Laffey the day of D-Day. Right. The, the, another crew is going to be on board. Um, they're going to be touring the Laffey and sleeping on the Yorktown for the next couple of days. Oh, wow. They, uh, they love getting on there. Their smiles, their stories, they just, they just love the, any opportunity they can to come back. And it really is a great lesson for, for not only kids but adults because you can go up and you can shake these warriors' hands and really get their story, their perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their stories, they got this, uh, everything. That, they may be getting older, John, but their, their memory is sharp as a tack when it comes to these days, uh, their time uh, serving, uh, memories of the ship that you can't, you, can't, you can't learn from just touring the ship or going out in the harbor and seeing things. Uh, the first-hand view, the first-hand uh, memories are just something you can't beat, something you can't get anywhere else. Absolutely. Check it out. It's coming up tomorrow again. The website, if you want some more information, is patriotspoint.org. Chris Howe, thank you so much for your time, sir. We do appreciate it. Best thank of you, luck John. with the uh, symposium. It. And I hope everybody comes out. All right. Sounds great. We'll be right back with our friends from Skirt Magazine right after these messages.